Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Today, we are heading towards the end of our Super Luigi Galaxy adventure. There's still a couple things to do. First off, I hear the message. We should go and get some extra lives from Toad and Princess Peach. But beyond that, we should be going to the Green Star Challenges and getting those done. Um, after we get these 20 lives, of course. Thank you, thank you. And then afterwards, we'll be taking on Bowser to save Princess Peach. I really hope it turns out well. It's gonna be pretty challenging, I'm sure, but it's something we've done twice before now. So what's a third time, you know? So we walk up here. Of course, we've checked this all out before, but we just go to the screen star area. And there is three little Lumas to talk to, each with their own level. So let's go to this first one, the yellow one. Wanna go to the rolling gizmo galaxy? I would love to. Okay then, here we go. So let's go launch ourselves into it and see how it goes. Obviously after today's episode, there's still more to do with like purple coin star missions and stuff like that. But for right now we're focused on all this, right? Rolling Gizmo Galaxy, Gizmos, Gears, and Gadgets. I think this was the more difficult one out of the three. I'll have to wait and see until we're there. Maybe, yeah, because we're rolling around on this thing. It was not easy, that's for sure. So we'll just hop on and hope we can do whatever we need to. I mean, I'll try to collect some star bits along the way too, but I guess I don't really need them anymore. I think we've exploded all the Hungry Lumas, so it would all just be for fun. So we just need to hop on top of this ball and get to rolling. And it might be a struggle, we'll have to wait and see, but if I could just roll over a Goomba or two here or there. Okay, we get this one up, get this one up. Got it. And then we can go. And I think the ball should be able to destroy these blocks, but it does send us flying back after. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Do I need to jump into it? Yes, I do. And then go again, go again. Gotcha. Come on. There we go, not too bad. Uh, and then we'll, boom, get that. So we're doing all right. This will launch us to the next section where we have you know, the big funnel. I'm just gonna fall straight down. Obviously, we could get some extra coins and star bits on that kind of stuff, but I'm mostly focused on just sort of going through things at a good speed. Just because we've experienced this all before, this is about to start spinning, so you know what, if I just wait over here for just a moment, we can make our way onto this gear. This is where things get pretty stressful. Um, uh oh, uh oh, this is about to push me. Whoa! No, 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 wait, wait, oh, come on, a little too far to the left. Yikes. All right, we're going back to it now. Gonna get past all these angry bob bombs. Oh boy, come on, we're getting a little bit farther, getting a little bit farther. The problem with this level, of course, is that I don't think there's any checkpoints. Okay, we gotta get onto the railing here. All right, Luigi, you can do it, you can do it. Get super launched over, through the loop, one more time, and then over to the final stretch, right? Okay, after this part. A lot of star bits we can get too, but I don't know if this is too worth it. Like I said, we already got all the star bits we need, right? Okay, no, no way! <laughs> Come on, we got a lot farther, but now I have a lot farther to go. Okay, I'm getting a little bit better at it. We're just gonna jump up here. Oh no, we don't, we gotta get on this thing. I remember now. We made the jump though, finally! Okay, it took me a good couple of tries, but we finally get through. Just gonna break that open and get our power star. Whew, definitely one of the more challenging missions in the game. But we'll get up here and go like that. Very cool. So there is our star for that one. And we'll bring that back over to Rosalina. We still have two more green star mission things to complete though. So that's Gizmo Gears and Gadgets in the Rolling Gizmo Galaxy and the Galaxy completed, but we're just gonna march right back over there as soon as we can. So let's go to that right now. Oh, is there another letter? What is this one for? Uh, okay, it's another letter from Princess Peach. Uh, is it gonna be another 20 lives? And no, this time it's just five. I mean, I'll gladly take them, but usually she doesn't give us more lives so soon after getting the ones we just did. So we're up to 35, 36 now. Pretty cool. So let's check out one of the other missions. I think we'll do the blue one now. We just did the yellow one. Let's go for the blue, and we'll save the green for last. So right over here, just talk to you real quick. Wanna go to the Loop the Swoop Galaxy? I would love to. This one's a lot of fun. Okay then. So as soon as we can, we are launching into the cosmos. You can see way off there in the distance. This is the loop-de-swoop galaxy with the one star, the galaxy's greatest wave. So we know what to do with this one. Hopefully it goes well. I mean, it wasn't too bad of a deal the last time we tried it. We got it done on the first try. 
but it's a pretty crazy race with a lot of weird moves. So let's go for it. You can see it's, it's a lot more extreme. Than the first time we did any of these wave races, I think I need to talk to you. You again, back for more race surfing. This course is a monster. You sure you wanna try? Of course I am. So okay, you got three minutes to get back here. Stay calm and just enjoy the surf. We'll see if it takes us a couple of tries or not, but I think with this one, uh, okay, I have to hold the A button to go, I forgot. <laughs> Uh, we just want to keep in mind things like our turning and our acceleration. We get a bunch of one-ups pretty easily, that's nice. I don't wanna go too crazy with most, most things here. It's not about getting like the best time possible for me, it's about getting through it efficiently. So as long as we take the turns comfortably, I think we'll be all right. I don't remember there being this many one-ups on the stage before, but I was probably pretty distracted. Okay, definitely still quite wobbly. Here's another one-up. I'm gonna ignore that one, I guess. Oh, that was close. Yeah, with the waves and the turn, it could be pretty hectic. We don't have a ton of time here, so I can't take it too slow along the turns, but so far we're handling it, but here comes the crazy part, it's the big loop. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! I think we got it! We're almost there! We made it! All right, so we're through the big loop and the giant jump is coming up next, watch out below! Oh, that was good, okay. We got the one up for it. We only have 25 seconds remaining, so I really gotta make the most of it, but we're at the finish line, so there we go. We do it in one minute and 10 seconds. Definitely not breaking any records, but I'm happy with it. Wow, a 1.10 race time, nice. That is not an easy time to get on this course. Well, hey, everyone wants to see you, so drop in and say hello. So there is our power star. Of course, we could fly around this and get a bunch of extra star bits and stuff, but we've already done that as Mario. I'm not too interested in doing it as Luigi. We just wanna go and finish this up. So there we go. I'm glad that one was a lot less challenging than rolling on the ball was, because that was just too much, way too much. So I do remember what our last one's gonna be. It's gonna be the little bubble one. But hey, there is that done. Uh, you gotta get, you gotta star the galaxy's greatest wave and loop the swoop galaxy. So, I'm gonna say no to that so that we can rush back over here and do our final green challenge star. I'm pretty sure. And all this that was a fourth one. Guess we could poke on the other side just to make sure, but yep, nothing over here. So we want to go on top of the little green hill this time. Want to go to the bubble blast galaxy? Yep. Okay then. So, here we go, blasting off. See, this area doesn't take a ton of time to get through, it's more so the, the, the quick challenges that it provides. The Electric Labyrinth and Bubble Blast Galaxy with the last Green Star Challenge we need to do. This one can be really tricky, it's about patience, it's about timing. But since I won't be as distracted about getting star bits and things like that, I think that'll make it a little faster for us. I guess I could get a couple right now, because, you know, why not? <laughs> if I'm flying around. So with this one, yeah, there's five different little sections. With each one of them, you need to get into the bubble, and just push your way along. One little hit will do us in. So we have to be really careful. Might take me a moment to get a flow with it, but as long as we're taking our time and just choosing our paths just right, we should be fine. Like, I could have went for it there, but I didn't really need to, so, so why go for it? Wait for it to rotate around until we have a clearer spot to go through and get our first star chip. Okay, that was pretty good. Let's wait for that, and then go. And then we already have our first sling star, so that's one done. Let's go for, I think I'll just loop around counterclockwise. So I started with that one, I'll do some of these other ones now. There's the uh, sling star. Oh, this one's a little scary though, because we got the flame. Right now, ooh, that wasn't so bad. We could go extra far for extra stuff, but like I said before, what's the point in doing that if I don't need it? If you do want to see me being dil super diligent with these, definitely check out uh, the Mario playthrough, just because that's where I take the time to do those things. Okay, we're doing really good. So there's the second one done. So far, we're storming through it, but th we're not even halfway, so let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's so go for this one. Where do we head from here, though? I see this electric ball. You know, let's wait, 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 wait. Okay. 
Got it, and we get the star chip like straight away. But I guess the problem with this one is surviving it. We could go over there. I do remember trying that and failing. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is scary, but I guess we get a lot of room for it. Just to go across, and we're almost there. And got it. Three down, two to go. Next one is right here. So I will hop into that bubble. Gotta watch out for the mines now. Gotta go a little bit to the left, but there's our starship ready and waiting for us. Just gonna nudge myself over here, over there. Nice and steady, nice and slow. And here it is, wow, this is actually not so bad so far. So let's see, is this last one gonna be the real challenge? It might just be. Okay, so I think I wanna go under. Just like that, this thing could easily push us into one of the walls, so just gotta really be careful of that. So I guess I want the long way around. Sort of hard to tell, but we got it, so all I need is to get this, and that is everything put back together. So if we can make our way back there, we'll be fine. But that's the struggle, right, is making our way back there. Where is the slingster? Oh, it's right up here. Okay, that's actually not too bad. So let's just do that, and we're good to go. Okay, we did it on the first try without too much of a complication. That is so exciting, but there is still more, so maybe I shouldn't get too excited. <laughs> this right here is definitely like the final stretch. I don't know if we get a checkpoint or anything. I would sure hope we do. Oh no. Uh, whoa, uh, maybe went a little too soon, but the bullet bills are coming in. Yeah, I wanna get out of here quick. Let's just try to make it hit that thing. There we go. The bullet bills really complicate things, but you know what, I guess it just puts our skills to the test. We got out of there so fast, it didn't even have the chance to follow us. That's cool. I hear another one getting fired off, though. I think we're safe, though. We get a one-up, and then, ooh, ooh, ooh. Scary. Here comes another bullet bill. We're out of here, I don't know if it's following me. I heard it explode. Maybe we're doing fine. Yeah, we are going so quick. Got it, got it. Ooh, this part is probably the last stretch if I had to guess. We gotta go around here. Oh, they're after me. Maybe they'll cr clash into each other. That'd be great. Come on, come on, come on. I might just have to move it. Ah, that's too much, that's too much, that's too much. Whoa, there's still more. Somehow there's still more. There it is, there it is. We got it. All right, on oh, the first try. That was crazy. Oh, man. A star well earned, for sure. So that is all of the green challenge stars. Glad we could get them. The Electric Labyrinth Bubble Blast Galaxy, star number 104. So with that done, there's only one more thing I wanna do, and that is going to be taking on Bowser. So maybe now's a good time to save. We'll be taking on big bad Bowser himself and hopefully saving the day. Let's talk to Rosalina and find out. It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? I think I'm good to go. All the other stars remaining are going to be this last grand star and then the 15 um, purple coin stars. All right, then off we go. So I don't know how different this will be, the grand finale to uh, Super Luigi Galaxy facing up with Bowser. For right now, it looks like it's the same cutscene as with Mario. Where she's turning the uh, Common Observatory into a full-blown ship that we can explore the universe with. Well, off we go. We really move in this thing. So somewhere in the center of that big nebula, or whatever it's supposed to be, Bowser's ready and waiting. Here come all the airships. And there's Peach's castle. So this definitely seems like the same cutscene. There's a warp field inside the castle. Go, Luigi. Go there inside, hurry. So she does say go, Luigi, so that's awesome. I just like it when they actually recognize that it's Luigi. Here he comes. So even though this is like a pre-rendered cutscene, I guess this part is different. All right, awesome. So let's see it right here. This is Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, the fate of the universe. Luigi is ready to save the day.
It looks pretty intense, but we've been through this level twice now. Um, one time, of course, to just beat it normally. I'm doing this the wrong way. And then the other time to actually get the secret ending of unlocking Luigi with 120 power stars. So I think you know, we're good to handle this. But we'll give it our best shot. We'll play it careful wherever we need to. Gotta keep in mind, you know, Luigi's strength and weaknesses of being slippery but jumping higher. These kind of things will probably come to play quite a lot in a level like this. So we'll jump up like this and we're already going. Jump over that part, there we go. Gotta watch out for these. Uh... And we're fine, we're fine. So I think with that, whoa. Okay, we're through, we got it. Now we get sort of warped over to this side. And you would think I'd just be able to long jump over, but there's actually an invisible wall. <laughs> oh man, not fair. You'd think if they didn't want us to, you know, take advantage of the fact that it's a small planet, they would have made it such a small planet. Oh no, whoa, okay, that was weird. Um, I jumped, but it just like, it didn't jump. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in huge trouble. No way, I'm falling. Okay, we did it, we did it, whoa. That was so close. We really gotta get that coin over there, but really cut that one as close as it gets, huh? There it is. Back to full though. Now we're feeling good. I guess if we could just get over here and then up this way, should be good. These platforms aren't as slippery as I'm expecting. They look like ice, but I guess it's more like glass. Now we gotta get across this whole desert part. Ooh. I think I could. You have a long jump to here pretty easily. And then same deal with this part. Really skip a good section of that. Nice. And these star bits are just, you know, they're all here. I might as well grab them. Long, or wall jumping up this way. I might as well grab the one up, it's there. And this part can be a little scary because it's all about timing. Oh, we're upside down now. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, there we go, there we go. Timing matters a lot. If I dodge that one, get over here, and then long jump into this, we're good to go. Yeah, we're zooming through this. We're already at the last stretch of it, I think. If I'm not mistaken. It really shows how much we've improved at this game. This was definitely not the easiest thing to get through. The first time with Mario. Got it, got it. And then I think I'll just, whoa. Oh, I thought I was gonna regret that for a moment. Luckily, I didn't. It's right there. That's gonna launch us over to Bowser. Getting there, no problem. Just like this. We wanna get up to this one. Watch out for the bull pills. They hit each other and not me, so that's great. And there we go, we did it. So let's launch over here and see if we can't run into Bowser. There he is. Oh no. But first up, Bowser Jr. is waiting for us. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she's with me. Oh no. Luigi knows that means it's go time. And Bowser's winning up there too. So we can get some long jumps to get up there pretty quick. They're gonna start firing at us in a moment. I would like to grab that extra health. Oh no, oh, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. I don't know if these will hit us directly, but they will break the platform that we're standing on. Okay, I don't think I need the one up as much. All right, Bowser, I'm here. I'm ready to square up with you. Final showdown. Finally, you got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. I don't know about that one. We've seen how the story ends. From this galaxy, I'll rule, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So, Luigi, as you can see, I got big plans, and stomping you is at the top of my list. Oh no. Well, at least he knows his name. It's so funny that in you know, some of the games, he just does not know Luigi's name at all. I think that's usually the Mario and Luigi games. Okay, so we know the deal with this one, right? You know, he's gonna go in this form. We just hit him straight away. I love the music here. And we get him pretty good. Not too much more we can do on this planet. We can't get him to uh, hit any kind of lava reserves because 
There just aren't any, but I can, yeah, get them right there. We're doing really good work on them so far. We're just gonna bounce around to that side and then back over here. And off this planet we go into what is gonna be an easier section, I think. So I should just be able to, yeah, hit him straight away. And then get him there. We are doing some great work on this guy right now. Do it again. Oh, he doesn't even have a chance. Luigi is destroying him. Oh no, okay, wait a minute. Might have messed up here. No, we're fine. Now he's gonna bounce around real quick. And then I get him again. Off this planet and onto the next one. That was so good. But this is where it truly heats up. This one's a lot more similar to what we're used to. Here he comes. He's gonna start with the triple. And then he starts rolling around with this stuff. Once he's sort of sick of doing this, he's gonna try to jump on us. And that is when we, yep, just get him to get torched by his own lava. Oh no, how did he get over there? That was a little confusing. Right when he turns around, we get him good. We are destroying him. I don't think I've ever done this this fast. But there's still more to go. Not finished just yet. These fireballs do make it a bit more complicated. As they wrap around more than once. Like that, oh, I didn't see that one. So we do take some damage. I think we'll be okay here. Waiting for him to jump up. Oh, whoa, 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 here he goes, here he goes. We got him, we got him, okay. Where is he gonna meet up with us right there? Once again, that just didn't seem like where he was gonna end up. Come on, gotcha. This is our chance. This is our chance. One more time and boom, we got him. See ya, buddy. All right, so Luigi is done. He's defeated Bowser and saved the princess and the galaxy, the universe, and everything in between. I'm glad that was actually really good. It was super easy. We've just we fought him enough times that it's not too much of a challenge anymore. Uh oh, there it is, the final grand star. We worked really hard for this one. Playing through the entire game an additional time just to get to this point. Well, let's go grab it. So it shows that, you know, not just Mario can be a galaxy traversing superhero, Luigi's capable of it too. You got a grand star. But I think there's more, of course. We're flying out of here. If this is where things get pretty crazy. We gotta catch Princess Peach with the grand star. Gotcha. Awesome, awesome. And off we go. I can't believe it. It's been such a long time getting here. You know, it's just, we've had so many episodes of this game. This whole thing is falling apart back this way. Where's Bowser at? Is he still here? There he is. Still not doing so good. You'd think after three times he'd give up. <laughs> I don't think he's aware it's been that many times. For him, it's still the first. I can't believe it. No, my galaxy, my empire, this can't be happening. All right, well, there we go. And the whole thing explodes and it's up to Lumas to save us. It sounded more like Mario than Luigi there. No, that one sounded like Luigi. It is cool that, you know, at least we get these cutscenes with Luigi instead, you know? Everything is getting sucked up. Aw. 
No matter how many times I see this one, it's still so sad. Just so touching. I feel like there aren't too many Mario games that really pull the heartstrings like this one does. I wish there were sort of more to have these little heartfelt stories and moments. With it, the birth of a new galaxy. So I wonder if we'll hear Luigi say that instead. For right now, we're just seeing Rosalina again. <laughs> Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. Luigi doesn't really know what to say about that, but he's listening. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. You'll see. And this time, I guess it repeated itself in a slightly different way because it was Luigi instead of Mario. I don't know if that's what they're referencing there, but in a way it is, in a way it isn't. But look at this. We're back at the Mushroom Kingdom. Wakey, wakey, Luigi. It's been a long adventure. But it looks like everything's okay. The Star Festival can continue again for the third time. It's still one of the best scenes in Mario history though, you can't deny it. With all the characters here just celebrating, having a good time. All the little pumpkin Goombas, the Toads. And of course, Peach and Bowser. All new life carries the essence of stars, even all of you. Ah. Welcome, welcome new galaxies. That's so cool, so we get to hear the line with Luigi too. A whole new galaxy to welcome. And there we go, there is our Super Luigi Galaxy playthrough. Now, just like with Super Mario Galaxy, there is still more to do. I've talked about it before, but we need to replay through with all the purple coins. That should take us another episode or two, but then we have 100% of the game twice, and there'll be a secret final level for us to check out. But in the meantime, we gotta wait for these credits. So I'll be right back until these are all done. Thank you for playing my game. It was a pleasure, Luigi. That's great that he even has a little ending. A new chapter has been added to the storybook. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a chapter we've already seen, so I'm not gonna be checking that out, but the purple comet has appeared. So, we'll save our game there for sure. Now, usually I don't because it gives me the option so many times, but this is a good time to do it. So there we go, we're back at Super Mario Galaxy, but we're gonna hop back in with Luigi as you can see right over here. So Luigi now has one crown, and I think if we switched it back to Mario, he has two. So just, we're so close, we're so very close. Let's play this file and take a look for ourselves. What's next? Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. Please look down at your feet. You can see there's 15 more stars to get. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. 
Well, I definitely will. So yeah, we have 15 more stars to get. They're all gonna be, of course, purple comet stars. We have a lot of work ahead of us, but with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.